Did you know that since the beginning of the Earth, natural vents have been shaping and reshaping its surface? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we'll discuss land and erosional features. What do sea stacks, deltas, sinkholes, and the Grand Canyon all have in common? They're all landforms shaped by erosion, weathering, and deposition. But what exactly is weathering, erosion, and deposition, and how are they connected? Weathering is the process of rocks being broken down into smaller rocks. Erosion is the process by which sediments and other materials are moved from one place to the other. Through the process of erosion, the weathered pieces of rock and other materials are moved to another place. Rocks are broken down by growing plants, gravity, heat, wind, water, ice, acid, oxygen, and living organisms. Deposition is a geological process in which sediments, soil, and rocks are added to a landform or landmass. Once the material has been eroded and is no longer being moved, it is deposited in a new location. The cycle then starts again with a fresh rock that is exposed. Through the process of weathering, erosion, and deposition, the surface of the earth is constantly being shaped and reshaped. We can study these changes in the shape of the earth's surface by using topographic maps. Topographic maps use contour lines to show different elevations of the land, and the patterns of the contour lines reveal different land features. For example, hills, streams, valleys, and basins. These patterns highlight the erosional changes on the land. For example, the U-shaped glaciated mountain valleys, the V-shaped river valleys, and hills formed through wind-blown dunes. In addition, Weathering and erosion create predictable patterns which we can see in topographic maps, allowing scientists to predict how the land features on the map will change over time. This proves that the Earth's surface is constantly changing. The most crucial and useful tool for creating topographic maps and understanding the erosional changes are satellites. Satellites are able to provide high-resolution images of large-scale land feature patterns, allowing scientists and researchers to see even small changes over time. This can help identify and track changes in land forms and other features caused by erosion. Let's review what we just learned. The process of weathering, erosion, and deposition is constantly shaping and reshaping the surface of the earth. Weathering, erosion, and deposition are connected. Weathering breaks the rocks into smaller rocks. Erosion moves the rocks and other materials to another place. The agents of weathering and erosion are gravity, wind, running water, and ice. Deposition adds sediment, soil, and rock to land master land form. Weathering exposes fresh rock, and the cycle starts again. Topographic maps are used to study the changes in land features. The contour lines show different elevations of the land. The contour patterns show erosional changes. Weathering and erosion create predictable patterns in a topographic map, making it easier to predict how the land features will change over time. Satellites allow scientists to study large-scale land feature patterns and notice any small changes over time.